This is starting to look like a nursery now. <laughs> so these are all my babies that I'm still propagating or growing. Finally, it's a beautiful day. Look at the flowers of this thing here. Oh my goodness, you are so beautiful. I finally have a chance to clean up my front yard. Not clean up, uh, clean up, clean up, but just pulling some weeds. And where's my coffee? Over there. Okay, but for the meantime, I've got Sedeveria Blue Elf Svelte. This is courtesy of Sofia Montiero. I hope I said your name or pronounced your name correctly. So please don't hate me if I pronounce that wrong. But it's a beautiful name. Sofia Montiero. 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 Oh, so sexy. Okay. I'm just going to change it to my little skinny blue elf. You're going to be Sedeveria Svelte. Blue Elf, Blue Elf, Svelte. Oopsie. Now that one <laughs> broke. Voluptuous. Okay, see, see, see what? Even your label, even your assigned label is saying to you, you have to lose weight. No, you don't. You have to stay voluptuous. Okay, so might still change your name, but anyway, Svelte. I like that. Okay, Svelte. Svelte, you go here, Svelte. But look at the two, okay? See? To the shot. So it's Velt on the right. And uh, this one is Voluptuous. This is a cutting of Echeveria Rosolares. Rosolares. Okay. Rosolares. Okay. I'm letting things roll off my tongue at the moment. And I am going to put you here. Okay, Sophia, it's your fault. You got me with all this accent now. Sophia Montiero. Okay, Echeveria Rosolares. It's a beautiful plant. Look at that. Oh, very, 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 very gorgeous. Those, those um, undulating, wavy, wavy tip leaves and the color maroon. Did you know that when I got married, I wore... A burgundy dress. I know you're not interested in that, but I thought I'll just share it anyway. Okay, so this one is okay, so that one is just beautiful. The flowers. Look at the flowers. And this 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 hang on, let's go turn this around, turn around, turn around. Look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. So I have a few of these that I'm propagating. Uh, it's semi-attractant to mealybug, but it's actually not too bad. So this one got attacked by mealybug before and you can see some mealybug trying to mark it again. There's probably one down in the bottom there. Hang on, let's go see. So I got my very pointy ground. Uh, this is actually a culinary tweezer that I've ground off. Okay, so for doing cakes and stuff. Okay, I'm just going to angle this because, okay, so that you can see. I don't know if you can see the mealybug. Hang on. Come here. There you go. So I'm going to go right in here and I'm going to take it from, this is like surgery, isn't it? That one, that cottony thing there. Hope I can see that and on the camera. Oh, the camera can you see there. That's mealybug hiding there. Okay. It's got some mealybug babies in there and we just pull it off. Okie dokie. Oh, look at this baby. Oh, look at this leaf. I thought it's part of the plant. And it's not. It's a little bubba. A little bubba. Okay. Uh, I haven't got room to put it in here. Plus, this is a mealybug central because I've got some scoria that I put on top. I've run out of... Um, Decomposed granite for my dressing at one stage. Oh, look at Tolimanensis. Tolimanensis. Okay, I actually got two colored Tolimanensis. This is sort of the grayish green pink. 
and the other one is grayish pink yellow okay I'll show you later on but this one now I'm gonna put in oh I'll put it here there you go you can grow in there um, oopsie 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 there you go boom done and the yellow tolimanensis uh, Achiveria tolimanensis and look at that beautiful yellow color and one of them I suspect would already be a hybrid because this one is yellow and I'll put it here and I'm gonna take the other one and I'll put the tweezer away because I'm gonna stab one of my babies and don't want to do that I'm supposed to do a video of same but different but anyway this is to show you that <laughs> I'm not knocking it down but those plant identification apps they don't work in these cases especially with say your leafy succulents because they hybridize you know each other they get cross-pollinated you don't know uh, if the neighbor or the milkman comes along or something like that but then this is a Echeveria tolimanensis the shape is all tolimanensis and the color is yellow <laughs> the flowers is yellow on this side here is grayish pink with a hint of um, uh, well it's mostly sort of greenish gray it's beautiful beautiful plant but that one is yellow with a hint of <laughs> uh, orange so you can tell now you can see now that this is exactly what um, I'm saying about identification it's very hard to identify succulents because of this see that's a good example I could show you a few more examples but for now because this is my vlog eating for the morning so I could say hello and good morning to all of you it's still morning I'm still having my coffee okay I've already sent the husband off packing and he's off detecting and I didn't even go because I want to clean up my uh, garden okay uh, that's what I call dedication See, I am foregoing gold or looking for gold or pulling out gold nuggets. Oh, Sedveria Dalidale. This is my unhardy. This is not a hardy Sedveria. This is touch and go all the time. So I have a hardy one at the front. But this one, this is the mother plant. This is my mother, which is not very, very hardy at all. Well, it lives here, but it does get affected by the frost a little bit. But then springtime comes when it warms up, then it comes back again. So, but this is the strain. Oh, are you variegating? I have a lot of plants that's variegating, but anyway. Uh, this is the, the mother plant uh, where my other sedvaria Darlydale came from. Oh, look at that. Allo, Plicatilis, coming from winter. That's what happens, it gets hit. But, see those new growth. The burnt leaves are remnants of the weak leaf from previous years. So I had this for about three years and it was a teeny weeny plant. And so now I am growing it now. Uh, so those new shoots in the center or new leaves that actually came from uh, winter. So that's winter growth still. And that means, and we still had frost and uh, got kissed by the frost a little bit there, but then that will be uh, a very well acclimatized hardy plant by next year and then eventually it will just grow into a little tree and produce hopefully I don't know how long before they produce flowers but anyway they do have beautiful flowers but even if they don't just the plant alone is very um, structurally pleasing so I came here to show you my mess I've been meaning to do a video of this garden here um, insulation I think I did this in April or May so coming on to the end of autumn is when I did it and June in Australia is the start of our winter and what do I do as I normally or usually do I put an Echeveria neon breaker which is a hybrid 
is not a hardy plant, but this one is hardy now. And not only that one, uh, I've got three more inside, I think. So I only had five Echeveria Neon Breaker and I don't have a baby yet. So I bought them all already grown, but tiny. They're only like a quarter of the size, if not even that. Uh, when I got it but you can see this all dried up leaves and it flowered and I took some leaves off it but it hasn't struck so but at, at least I've got a hardy plant now and I've got food growing in here I've got sassify okay this is I bought a plant before and it's supposed to have some nice flower and it wasn't sassify and in the sassify there's another plant that came uh, in that pot sorry came another plant which is this 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 thing here okay I put some rocks in here so I can step on it okay so this one is a root there you go it's a root crop there you go it's like turnips and I actually tried eating a bigger one of this before and it tastes like oyster. Okay, so, and I said to my, to the boss, oh, we should try this and have some roast sassify. And he said, no, thanks. <laughs> but I ate mine. Okay, hang on. Oh, that one just pulled off. Okay, so it is a weed pulling day today. And I am going to show you my weed. Okay, someone uh, commented, I uh, can't remember exactly the name. Please don't hate me again because I'm an old woman and I can't remember all these things. I'm becoming forgetful. Oh, hang on. Wait, that one. Oops, the baby. There's a crassula baby trying to come out of there. See? Uh, so, uh, the flower, when they flower, just leave it. it. It might look unsightly, but leave it and let the baby come out. See, another one. See, there you go. So for those of you who want to grow crassula, crassula perforata, this one, and there's a few variety of the perforata as well. There's fat one and the skinny ones, there's medium size, and there's teeny weeny tiny uh, ones as well. So this one is Haworthia simbriformis, I think, so or cathedral. This is the cathedral Haworthia. So this one has been living here well, put it this way, it's been living outside, frost and all, for about four years. But actually, this one is already a baby. I've already propagated it. And when I started with this Simbriformis, so I'm going to be specific, Haworthia Simbriformis, I was only given three. One, two, three. Small plant. And they weren't that color. They were... Uh, I, I'm trying to look for a greenish green. There's not even a green one here. So it was really green when I got it, but it's got that translucent. It still, it had the, okay, see the translucent color. So that center there, without take off the pink tip, that's what it looked like when I got it. Do I have even, see, so I don't even know. So all my simple form is now, are either turning yellow or not green anymore. So I can't, I think I have one big pot, but then that's still got some pink in it. And they're very easy to grow. They're very hardy. So to our area, temperate uh, climate, it is frost hardy up to minus 11 so far, because the coldest we had was about minus 11. Recorded 10.6, but um, actually it went colder than that when the pipes burst and the hose burst. Uh, and everything so it is uh, minus 11 and it has survived so there you go uh, Haworthia simbriformis so that's an installment of um, my <laughs> Haworthia bit and then the next one's aloe I'm gonna do the aloe probably tomorrow but for now I'm gonna have my coffee and I'm gonna oh look at this huh look at all those weeds coming out of there so this one is I don't even know where this came from Ooh, look, they're nasty. These are nasty weeds. See, so I have to pull them up in and I have to pull them out while the ground is still freshly rained on. Because if I leave it for a couple of days, then they dry up really quick and then they break off when you pull them off. There you go. So, and 
I have to dispose of this because they have a habit to run but I already sprayed that one so that should die off and then look at this weed here oh, look at that huh okay see this is what I'm saying oh I can't this one I love pulling weeds especially when you tug 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 and then oh it comes off the whole roots and all or just a tiny bit I think left in there but anyway I'll deal with that later on and it feels like pulling teeth I don't know I haven't pulled anyone's teeth yet but uh, I think I assume <laughs> that that's how it feels okay so now this one as well tug 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 and look at that ha huh. okay so ah oh, okay there you go we go here and oh random colors it's already oh, purple flower finished flowering oh there's another one coming up see random colors and look at all these weeds they're pretty but they have spikes or thorns now see my mess it's not my mess well it is because it's my garden it's my responsibility so it just got covered with weeds and this area I can't really spray or I don't want to spray some chemical uh, spray stuff for killing them because I get grass from here for my budgie so grass or wild grass will just grow and I would come here hang on oh I'm got ki kicking look at that okay so I would get some grass for Pedro okay and so I have to pull off all this grass um, and up to that corner there. Uh, look. Oh, oh, look at that. I think, uh, what are you? Uh, Estiopernum. 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 Okay. I just bought a couple of new um, siblings for you. <laughs> Orange ones and pink ones for osteopermum I think osteopermum okay if I said that wrong again I can't remember all these plant names and you all think oh I'm so clever because I can remember no I don't okay anyway um, blue metal Echeveria blue metal look at all of them uh, it's uh, grown through winter and look at them beautiful isn't it so that's what happens when they get hit by winter frost oh that imbricata look how big you are and speaking of imbricata, I'm just going to pan this across. Someone has stole oh, another picatillis. Um, uh, someone's been stealing my succulents, of course. Oh, wheat. And I caught one. Uh, it's a young girl. She's about 10 years old on a bike with her friends. But this cluster here that used to be like a big round ball so one two three four five six seven eight nine it had nine uh, odd numbers uh, and someone took one from here okay see look they broke off and then I thought oh yeah that's all right this is gonna grow back and then they came back again and took one from this side again okay so I don't know whether it's that girl who took that one but I saw her pulling some plants or flower but by the time I thought what are they doing she's already gone anyway kimnachi sidum I think kimnachi is this what you call these ones beautiful look at the colors oh my lordy so this is like a weed stone crop sidum and I started with Actually, come to think of it, this was my very, very first succulent. Just to give you an idea of what I have to uh, deal with or what I'm supposed to do. And I haven't even finished my coffee yet. And look. Oh, look at the weeds. But see all of this. Look at that. huh? It's a weeding day. Oh, orange. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story about 
the orange pig's face. My son, when he was 10 years old, he went on a field trip, a school field trip. The teachers or the, the school took them to a plant nursery and I gave him $10 to buy his lunch. Anyway, they stop at McDonald's. The poor kid, he just bought a drink and he paid $8 for an orange pig's face. Oh, it still brings tears to my eyes every time I remember that story. This is a good tears, happy tears. What a sweet, 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 sweet boy. There you go. I love you, me boy. <laughs> oh, I'm getting old. Okay. You can see all the mess now. I am tough as old boot, but I am soft as butter as well. <laughs> okay, I'll see you tomorrow, my lovelies. Bye! You have a lovely, beautiful, wonderful day.